morning, everybody. How's everyone doing? All right. We're so excited for all of you to be here. And thank you, Shanaz, for sharing your wonderful story with us today. It's really relevant to the announcement we have for you. So as you have heard and you know, we are fully committed to supporting women in tech, women who want to be in tech, and young women who are just starting to dream about being in tech. So Women Tech Makers and Engineering Education at Google, which we affectionately call NGDU, we have combined forces because we're both passionate about providing resources in computer science education to build community and to increase the visibility of role models. And that's all of you in this room today. And hopefully we can inspire more young women to participate in the field. So before we actually know what we can do, we had to do a little bit of research to understand why women and underrepresented groups are so fewly represented in computer science. So we partnered with Gallup on a multi-year study to understand the root causes. And today we are unveiling a new research brief focused on girls to understand precisely what the issues are and what we can do. So here are some of the key research findings. What we found is that girls are 1.7 times less likely than boys to be encouraged by parents and teachers to go into computer science. And they are twice as less likely to see themselves on screen and in media. So it's no wonder that girls are half as confident as boys when it comes to engaging in computer science. But there's a lot we can do. And in the research brief, we highlight some recommendations that all of you can help us participate and do to help encourage girls most about social and cultural encouragement. One of the most important things we can do is to change the narrative. So we want to see more diverse images and we want to tell stories of computer scientists that are relevant and that they can relate to. And so by doing so, hopefully they will be inspired to change the world and maybe even pursue careers that involve CS. So to get us started, we're going to be releasing a new resource tool to do exactly that and to share our stories. So we're announcing three new Careers with Code expeditions today. And for those of you who are not familiar with Google Career Expeditions and the app, and also with Career Expeditions, it's basically virtual field trips. So as you can imagine, a lot of field trips are costly or they're logistically difficult to get to, especially if you're talking about the International Space Station or Antarctica or Machu Picchu. And you can actually download those on expeditions as well. But most expeditions don't focus on careers. So what we've done with this tool is to give it a little bit of a twist. So with career expeditions, we've gone out, interviewed professionals, asked them what do they like about their jobs. We shadowed them in their environments, and we learned about how they got to where they are today and how they're incorporating technology into their field. So it's kind of like a virtual career tour, if you will. And the beauty of this is that you can meet these professionals wherever they are, and you can watch them wherever you are. So let's get started, because we have three inaugural Careers with Code expeditions featuring Angelica, Victoria, and Sue. And they are stellar, amazing women who have used technologies in so many interesting ways in their fields. You can follow their stories by downloading the Google Expeditions app into your phone, and then you can use a cardboard device in order to share your, their stories with students using the Explorer or the Guide mode. So what can you do today? You can read about the research that's in your uh, bags, or you can follow the link on the screen. Second, you can try Google Expeditions. Again, downloading the application, and in your bag, you have these cardboards. So you can check it out today. And you can sync your phone with it and play around with it. Or you can actually experience it using a live demo that we're going to be hosting at the reception today. And the wonderful thing about Expeditions, too, is that this is not the end. Because next week, for Women's History Month and also International Women's Day, we're going to be announcing even more career expeditions for you to take a look at. 
And lastly, as Shanaz also encouraged all of us to do, share your story. And you can share it with someone today, share it with a young person in your life, and you have an opportunity to nominate yourself and your story to be shared with a nationwide network of students at careerswithcode.com slash share. So thank you so much for being here today. I hope you really enjoyed today. And I'll turn it back to Shanaz. Thank you.